Have you ever seen the butterfly method when adding fractions? Say we wanted to add 3 7 and 5 6. The butterfly method has us multiplying 3 times 6, adding it to 7 times 5, and then dividing by 7 times 6. But why does this work? So let's go back to our 3 7 and 5 6. Our goal here is to get a common denominator between the 7 and the 6. So let's multiply 3 7 by 6. But if we multiply by 6, eh, it might change things a little. So let's just multiply it by 6 over 6, which is just a 1. And over here, this one's missing a 7. So let's multiply it by 7 over 7, which is also just a 1. Now we can see um, that we are multiplying this by 1, this by 1, which doesn't change our two fractions. 6 times 3, 18 over 42, plus 5 times 7, over 42. And with a little math, we get 53 over 42, which is what we would have had up here.